Now, veteran evangelist and founder of the Voice of Salvation and Healing Church, Archbishop Silas Owiti, was yesterday laid to rest at his home in Ahero, Kisumu County. Local politicians praised the fallen minister for his kindness and inclusivity, but castigated the government for shutting down television stations. Kevin Ogutu with that story. It was time to give the final farewell to the father of Pentecostal ministries in East Africa. He was born 92 years ago, and this marked the end of Archbishop Silas Owiti's life journey, but not the ministry he started 62 years ago. His wife, Archbishop Winnie Owiti, who took over the reins of church leadership in 2017, following her husband's failing health, took her place among the men and women of the cloth. Leaders poured out their tributes to the fallen man of God. And when I was coming to politics for younger constituency, him and the later Joga of Church of Christ in Africa, they were the people who prayed for me. And when I won that election, the Archbishop Silas of Haiti advised me to have the Archbishop who is here today, Mama Winnie Oeti, to be in my committee of CDF. And that legacy is strong and alive. If each one of us had an opportunity to leave a legacy like this, I think Kenya would be different. Kisumu woman representative Rosa Buyu praised Winnie for standing with her late husband a feat many a woman will learn from. Winnie, I want to thank you. In you, you showed us commitment as women. You showed us that marriage lasts forever. Because despite the fact that Papa was ailing for a long time, you did not turn your back. You remained committed to him. You looked after him that you're looking after your young son. And you gave him life longer than he would have had. I want to attribute that to you and attribute it to God. The political class reprimanded the government for deliberately infringing on Kenya's rights to information by shutting down major television stations. I want to challenge Jubilee again to make sure that they resume transmission of all the media houses. We need to see KTN. We want to see KBC at work. We want to see NTV beaming. We want to see NTV and we want to see all the media houses resume. This is a testament that Jubilee is headed to the cracks. There will be no dissemination of information because the broke government has switched off the telecommunication. And today when I'm burying my own friend who could be televised in the world to see, the wrong government has switched off information. A single Voice of Salvation and Healing has presence in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News.